515 and uh, wake up central helps you wake up smarter. We go beyond the headlines and connect the dots every morning. Today we're going to talk about a popular Christmas gift for kids. Video games, you know, every single kid, they want the PlayStation 5 right now. And if you don't want to get one, please let me know because the elves, they're backed up. They can't make it apparently. The old bit that video games are bad for kids may not really be that accurate anymore. Michael Aaron connected the dots between gaming and mental health. Researchers at Oxford University have released a study that found playing video games could have a positive impact on your mental health. Let's connect the dots. The researchers teamed up with Electronic Arts and Nintendo, two of the world's biggest game companies. They asked players to fill out a survey on their experiences that was matched up against playing time logged by the game companies. They found the amount of time spent playing was a small but significant positive factor in people's well-being. That's good news, considering earlier this year, Nielsen reported more than 80% of people around the world played video games in some form. And since the beginning of the pandemic, gaming engagement has been up by 46% in the United States. Researchers say the latest study still needs peer review and the long-term effects of gaming are still a big question mark. But for now, it's another excuse to spend a little more quality time with your controller. Connecting the dots, Michael Aaron, THV 11 News.